Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask in the world. Even masks that I've had to beg for. Today I'm looking at the FedEx mask. Super excited about this. I only have one to test though, so I have to be careful about how I do it. Um, so it comes individually sealed. I'll tell you the story about how I got this in a minute. There's no writing on it. It's not telling me if it's, a, you know, what style or validity is. Um, they're, they're making the ba mask backwards to preserve the beautiful FedEx logo on the front. Um, you can see they've got uh, the, the uh, ear loops welded on the back end. Um, you want it to be on the front because it will give you a better uh, seal on the front. That looks dang good though. Great nose wire. I would say based on the smell, this mask is made in China, but there's no way to know, but it does smell like, you know, I'm going to call this uh, Chinese plastic shipped in a FedEx box. Just trying to be relevant here. And it's not a horrible smell, but it, um, that is a uniquely Chinese polypropylene smell. Yes, I am now at the point where I can smell a mask and tell you its country of origin. Don't know what that says about me. Let's try the ear lips. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Those aren't going to come off on your face, but oh, see, that broke like that. So not the best ear loops, but the nose wire is really nice, especially since the outer layer is so thick. All right, now I've got to open this up because when we test the fabric, or the, we're, we're basically testing the fabric as a filter. So I've got to open it up and take off the, uh, the part of the mask that's folded over. A mask is actually about, it's actually a square piece of fabric. So when you open it up, it's a giant square. And the reason they do that is for breathability. So the more fabric you have, the bigger the filter you have to breathe through, the, the more you're going to be able to breathe. All right, let's let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. I don't know what standard this is being held to. I believe this is a Chinese mask. I don't know for sure. Um, Pretty typical though, it's, it's very expensive to do a type of mask like that. So many people have reached out to us and say, hey, can you do custom printing? No, no, I can't, too expensive. So uh, very expensive to get that done. Obviously FedEx is a huge company, but I'm betting it's done in China. Um, and it just smelled like a, a, a Chinese mask. I said, there's no way to know. Um, how did I get this mask? Well, uh, we are right next to a FedEx facility, uh, one of the, the, the main hub in Austin. I've made some FedEx friends over the, uh, the last year, let's say, and I begged and pleaded and traded my masks for this mask to see what it would do in my machine. So I'm very excited. It's been a while. I actually got this uh, about a month ago and I've had it sitting in our testing room waiting uh, to go. All right, so let's take a look and see how the mask is doing. So the airflow resistance is, is pretty good uh, for the, uh, the amount of air I'm pushing through this. Uh, it's under 100 pascals. That's really that's better than our masks, to be honest. Uh, we want to see under 150 pascals, um, and this is under 100. So the breathability on this is really good. Now, breathability does typically follow filtration, and you can see this mask uh, is 91-92% uh, filtration. Now, I'm doing one test here. I only have one mask. If we were really going to do this in a lab to test the viability of this mask, we'd have to test 20 of these. It'd be very intensive. So I would be willing to say it's possible that this mask would beat 95%, which is the, uh, the minimum standard in the United States. But this particular mask that I got, who knows if it was sitting in the sun, you know, who knows like how, what happened to it before I got it. It was in a thin package like this, which does help. But honestly, like putting it in a package like this, a lot of people don't realize can pull static electricity out of it and uh, take some of the filtration ability of it. So again, 91, 92%, not a terrible mask. FedEx drivers, there are definitely worse masks out there. Pretty cool that it has that uh, logo, um, but uh, there are better masks to wear. Personally, if I was a FedEx driver, I would be wearing an N95 mask, probably an American made one from somebody like uh, Demotech or Indiana Face Mask or Gearson, super breathable masks, um, actually in the same Pascal range, but they give you that seal uh, and they uh, go around your head. It's a head strap, so you're, you're not going to get fatigue wearing that on your ears all day long. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, FedEx drivers, for protecting us and delivering stuff. 
uh, during the pandemic. You guys are the unsung heroes for sure. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you guys' time and attention. I will catch you on the next test, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m.